Hello, welcome to my little paintbrush. I'm so excited to paint stitch with you. He's one of my favorites. So I hope you have a good time with me today. Um, remember to have fun, all right? We're here to have fun, not to stress out. We are learning together. So as we paint, be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself and enjoy the process, all right? Now, um, we're gonna use a couple of brushes. I have a large flat with me and a medium flat and a detail brush. And if you've painted with me before, you probably know these are my favorites. They're my go-to. So if you wanna use the same brushes, that's what I'm using or use whatever works for you, right? I am Miss Sarah and we're gonna get started. Here we go. I'm going to use my large brush first, okay? And I'm gonna put it in some water Loosen up the bristles in our water and our acrylic paint needs water. It gets very thirsty. So be sure to put that water on. And Stitch here is peeking out the side of his surfboard. And we're gonna start by painting our surfboard yellow, but we're gonna add white to it, okay? So I have all my colors laid out on my plate here and I'm gonna add a little bit of white to some of my yellow. Not all my yellow, just a little bit, all right? And I love to just kind of pat my paint. I don't mix it, really, I just kind of pat it. And that way I get different shades as I go. You'll notice as I paint, I'll have some darker streaks of yellow and lighter streaks of yellow, and that's what I'm going for. I love the look of that. Now, if you want it to be a little more of a flat, look that's perfectly fine too it's all about preference and as artists we have the freedom to create however we see color and art and texture that's what makes art so beautiful so have fun with that i'm just going to paint up and down though because surfboards right the greens go up and down and whenever we are creating we want to make sure we're going in the direction of the green so here we go, I'm gonna come right along Stitch's head here, trying to stay in the lines. If you go out a little bit, no big deal, don't stress it. Okay, coming right along there. Perfect, just like that. Okay, I love it. Now if you wanna add a little bit of white to your surfboard to lighten the areas, you know, to show the different shades in your paint, just put a little bit of white on the corner of your brush and brush up and down. And you'll see that it kind of fades into your yellow, right? And you get those different shades that pop up. It's kind of fun. And then I'm just gonna put just the dark yellow on my brush, just the dark yellow. And I'm gonna put the darker shade of yellow along the outside edge of my surfboard. See that? Right along the outer edge of my surfboard. There we go. That just helps it stand out. And you can just kind of brush it in there. Let that outside edge be a little darker if you want to show the contrast. Perfect. Don't worry about it being perfect right here. We're gonna go back and paint stitch in and all of that will straighten itself out later. So I'm gonna rinse my brush and now we're just gonna add this red stripe. Also, Really quick, if you want to, you can reach up and paint the top of your canvas yellow and the bottom yellow where your surfboard is. We call it wrapping our canvas. It completes it on all sides. So if you would like to do that right now, go for it. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of white now to my red. Here we go. And remember, as we are painting, you can pause the video. You don't have to go my pace if you need to um, take a minute to catch up or um, if maybe I'm going too slow for you. We have some artists that tell me I'm too slow. And if that's the case too, speed it up, right? Here we go. So I'm going to try my best to do a straight line right here. And guys, lines are tricky. So be nice to yourself with this line. Come straight down, best I can. Not bad, not bad. I think that's pretty good. Get that 
red on our surfboard. And then I'm gonna rinse my brush. Okay, rinse it out. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and start painting our stitch in in just a minute. But first make sure your brush is really clean. There we go. All right, so our stitch is a phthalo blue with a little bit of white. So you should have some phthalo blue here. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it to brighten it up, but not too bright, right? He has, he's a little bit of a darker shade. So kind of in between. I mean, you can decide this one if you want him a lot darker or not. That's completely up to you, okay? Once you like the color, you can go ahead and start painting in your stitch. We're gonna try and paint the direction that his um, his hair or his <laughs> he may his uh, skin is facing. Okay, so we paint down and around. Okay, kind of go with the shape of stitch. So just remember, keep that in mind. Whenever you are painting a character, you want to go or a head or anything like that, or hair. You wanna go in the direction that it's laying. So this hair, I'm gonna come out and around, right? Cause that's the direction it's going, out and around. Oh, got a little flick there. And then down and around with that hair. So with that one. And as we're doing this head, I'm gonna keep my brush moving up and down and around. You should be able to still see through your paint, but if you lose any of the, the tracings, don't be nervous. I'll help you find them. Okay, we're gonna go around the nose if we can, very carefully. There we go. And the eyes are a different color, so I'm gonna come up and around the outside of them trying not to paint inside, smoothing out our, our paint strokes as we go here. Okay. Now he has a little eyebrow coming up here, so my line is gonna come down and then it's gonna stop and pop up a little bit there where that eyebrow is. Now remember, we're outlining our character in a little bit, so I'm not too worried about getting the edges just perfect, okay? It's all right. Okay, looks good. We should be warmed up now, ready to go. Just need to make sure you don't have any drips and it's all brushed out, okay? All right, so I'm mixing more paint because I'm running out here. So I'm added more white to my blue and I'm trying to get that color back. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and do the arm here. Now this arm wraps up here, okay? And you have a turquoise belly showing up. So I'm trying to go around very carefully there. Also the bottom of his mouth is turquoise. So I don't want to paint that either. I'm wrapping around there. Okay. And again, if you lose any outlines, it's okay. We'll find them again. Okay. And then go right down the belly here. And there's the arm. This comes straight up to the board. Follow it around, okay? And this hand here, I'm going to, let's see, we can do it with this brush maybe. If you feel like you need to switch brushes for this part, go for it. All right, because it's a little tricky right in here. I'm using the toe of my brush to do it. But if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable with that, just don't even stress it. Just get a different brush. All right. Okay. There it is. We're doing it. Let's go ahead and do right under the nose here. And again, 
If you need to get a smaller brush to do this, you can. We want to carefully get around the eye and the mouth. And that can be tricky with a bigger brush like this one. Okay. All the way around there. There we go. And up. Give him a little smile. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and paint this side of the ear. Remember to be careful around this eye. And this ear just goes right up there to the corner. And then right up here to the other side, wrapping around, right? Brush up if you can, because that ear is going up. We want that upward direction. And then we have a little sliver coming out here along the bottom. There we go. And there is the start of stitch. I'm gonna rinse my brush. Really good. Okay. So we're gonna do the inside of the ear here while we have our blue handy. All we're gonna do is mix a touch of red with the blue to get a purple. Be sure to add a good chunk of white here to get that light. See that? Ooh, so pretty. Okay, that is that beautiful purple color we're gonna put just inside Stitch's ear here. There we go. Love this color. So pretty. Okay, and it's gonna wrap around and come right off your canvas. And you can just reach around the side of your canvas there and finish it off wrapping your canvas. Goes right off there. Remember we're outlining, so this is just the base of our work here. You don't have to worry too much about getting those edges just perfect. We're gonna clean them up later. Acrylics are all about building, building on each other. And as you go, you slowly build until it's complete. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush again and this time I'm switching brushes because I'm going to be doing all the turquoise inside and I don't want to do that tiny little space with a big brush, right? All right, so for our turquoise, I'm going to mix my turquoise with some white. I want to brighten it up a little bit. I don't want it too dark, so I'm lightening it up. You can have this as dark or as light as you want. You kind of decide that, okay? But once you're happy with it, we're gonna go ahead and start putting it in here. Just filling in that space. My brush has a little bit of color in it. I had to rinse that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna come right in here Fill it in. And if you get inside this little trace here a little bit, it's okay. It's going to be um, black and black covers anything up. So you don't need to stress it too much. Okay. All right, we're just gonna carefully come around here. I'm using the toe of my brush. So I'm standing on its tippy toes to get around. Coming around to see, I'm kind of going into my eye a little bit so I get a smooth stroke. But I'm not worried because it is black and black is just easy to cover. So I'm not worried about it. All right, come right around here. Meet up with this side. Awesome. There it is, we're starting to see stitch guys. All right, so let's do this mouth too. Come all the way 
Hey, yeah. Give Stitch a little bit of a smile. A little bit there. And then we're gonna put on this belly here. So we're gonna come right along the surfboard and up under his arm. There we go. We'll put some right in here, right in between those knuckles on his hand. All right, there he is, guys. It's starting to happen. Love it. So much. He's one of my favorites. All right, I'm rinsing my brush out. I'm going to let him dry for a second and we're going to put our background in. So you just use turquoise. My background is turquoise. So you can do the same thing or you can change it up. You have lots of colors on your plate, right? And you can use any of them to create your very own background. You don't have to follow along with me, but if you want to, I'm using a very light turquoise. Okay, just like that. I'm just going to start filling in my background color now with this very light turquoise. Putting it all in here. Going along the top. Be sure to reach around and wrap the edges now. You notice I kind of go around the image first before I get too close. And I'm gonna show you why. Um, one thing I love to do is put some white on the corner of my brush and face the white towards my image, like that. And then it allows this glow to appear around my image a little bit. And I like to do that because it saves me time getting too close to my image for one thing. <laughs> and for another, um, it draws a lot of attention to the image with the brightness being that close to it. It kind of draws the eye to the image. So if you would like to try that, just put some white on your brush, face it towards your image. Okay. And kind of let it brighten it up around your stitch. I don't know if you can see that very well, but see, I'm just putting white on the corner and facing the white towards my stitch and then painting around it. Just like that. And then I just let those white streaks show up. I'm kind of a fan of bright white and streaks all over. I just love the texture of it. I'm sure my students get tired of hearing that all the time. It's like, leave the texture. The texture is beautiful. But that is obviously a preference thing. All right, get up close here to your stitch. There we go. All the way around. Okay, I'm liking this color. Just throwing in a few more streaks there to brighten up our image. And I'm going to rinse my brush. Looking good, you guys. We're about to add some fun things to just make it pop. All right, let's add our black. Don't be nervous. You do have an outline, I hope. If not, it's okay. We're going to create it anyway. We're going to put it in here. I'm going to show you where. But use a smaller flat for this part. Okay, let's do the nose first our nose we're just going to create that line right above the mouth and come straight up here following our um, surfboard okay and then create this oval shape so stitch's nose is kind of an oval shape right and come around trying not to pick up our brush as we come around here. That is tricky to do. Just do our best to get that smooth line. There we go. 
brush out any drips and there's his awesome nose that we love so much and let's do the eyes and do the same thing I'm going to try not to pick up my brush as I come up and around see if we can give it that smooth line but again that takes practice and it's just something to work on as you create and some artists prefer to not have smooth lines they love a looser look so if you prefer that go up and around Ooh, got a little drip there oh boy it's okay we're gonna wipe it up if you ever get a drip on the edge, don't wipe out, wipe towards the color. And then you can go back and touch it up. Just a little tip for me. And there we go, we have those awesome eyes. Okay, and if you get a drip like I did, see you can just touch it up by coming in there with the color along the edge. Now you wanna make sure it's dry, but there you go. All right, you guys. We're gonna do our outlining and add all the little details to Stitch to really bring his character out. So be patient with me as we do this. You wanna grab a line brush or a detail brush, um, but these are the little things that just really make Stitch who he is, right? And he is obviously inspired by Disney. Really love his character. We're going to use a line brush here and I just put water in my black. Be sure to add some water to your black to thin it out and we're going to start from the top and work our way down. That way you don't smear any paint. Okay, so let's do his little curl first. Um, let's see there. Okay, so we'll start at the top and come up and wrap it around the top, okay? Now, depending on how hard you press with your brush, that will just, that will determine um, how thick your lines are. And one is not better than the other, it's just simply different, okay? So your lines may be smaller than mine or they may be bigger than mine, either way does not matter. Okay, so we have his curls there. So you just followed it around here, added those little three loops, and we're gonna start coming down the side of his head, curving around. Now right here, he has this fun eyebrow. So we wanna come away from his head, okay, a little bit, and add this rainbow shape following it around to give him that eyebrow. And you'll do the same right here with his eye. I'm not gonna outline the whole thing. I'm just adding that little curve to the top of his eye to give it that lift. Okay. Then we're gonna just follow this head around to separate it from the ear, just like that. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish up the mouth area. We're gonna come around and meet up with the head. Give him a little grin. I'm gonna come just above that to outline his mouth. The reason we're doing that is it needs a little bit of a separation there. See that? just helps with that. All right, looks so good. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a second. Okay, then we come over to the ear and just finish off our ear here. I'm gonna just come to there and stop and come right up here and over. Oh, I ran out of water. If you ever run out of water in your paint, that's what happens. You won't be able to get that clean stroke. 
All right, let's do the bottom part. Coming up here. And then where the ear folds over, we're just gonna follow it around and meet there. And this is shaped like a square. See that? There's a little bit of groove of a groove in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the arm and the stomach area. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, so. I'm gonna do those fingers in just a minute, but let's make sure we have all of this on here first. Okay. So his arm is gonna come right up here to the board. Okay. Let's wrap around there. And then we're gonna add his knuckles, okay? The first one, we're going to start here by his mouth, just wrap around and stop. So wrap around and stop right there. Second one, wrap around and come in and stop just right slightly in, okay? This next one is shaped like an M. So we come up and create an M shape. Just like that. Good work. Now he has a little fingernail popping up here, right? So I just want you to come right in the middle of this knuckle here and create those grooves for that finger that's popping over the side. Okay, now these two are hiding behind. So we're going to give it a little bit of a groove by creating this triangle shape right here in the middle. Okay, to show that these fingers are going over the top and there's one hiding behind right there. Okay, if you need to pause the camera or the video for just a minute, and refer to your reference picture, or just look at it for a second. Sometimes it takes a minute for your brain to process where those knuckles go. And that's okay, take just a minute. All right, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and add these claws, which is one of my favorite things. All right, so we're just gonna take our brush and press down with our brush. We see how you get that claw right there? And put another one here. You can have them big or small. Depends on how hard you press with your brush. Okay, we have one more sticking out right here. Just pressing. Nice. There it is. Okay, one other thing just to show the separation right here on this Second knuckle up, we're going to create the arm that curves down towards the elbow, okay? So your arm is going to curve and come down towards the elbow just like that. Just add kind of that rainbow shape right there, okay? Good job. I know that was a little stressful getting those knuckles in. They're always the stressful part. All right, right here. Let's add the wrinkles above his nose. He has two of them. Your nose should be dry enough that you can come up here and add the two wrinkles above his nose. Oh, I don't want to drip. Okay. And they're just shaped like a rainbow. Got one there and then one more right above it. It's slightly smaller. There you go, you have stitches, wrinkles. I'm rinsing my brush. Really good here. Okay, we're gonna use some white now. And do some of our finish work. We just wanna add the highlighting. So I'm gonna put some white on my detail brush. I hope you've been having so much fun with this. I love painting stitch. He's just so fun. So right inside the ear, let's add some light there. 
and right above his arm or right below I guess where that groove is right it kind of shows it off it shows where it is okay and then all of his little curls up here on the top of his head we're gonna put some light right along the top of them you see that it kind of shows where it's where it's laying so it doesn't get lost okay and I'm gonna put a little bit of light just under the black of his eye there at the top and just a little bit inside his mouth right along the top it's not super noticeable but it does add to your painting I'm gonna put some right along the top of his nose just a little curve there love it oh my goodness so cute okay now let's put that white in his eye <laughs> now usually we use the back of our brush right and do a little sparkle in the eye but his is quite a bit bigger and it's right at um the top starts at the top of his nose then comes down just slightly and it's an oval shape so i'm going to come in here right about the middle of his nose there and create this oval eye shape with my detail brush just like that okay and we're going to fill it in right because that is definitely stitch he's got this this oval shape eye here we go and remember if you don't love your eye shape for any reason at all if it's bugging you you can just take some black cover it up perfect okay seriously loving this so much all right so you're gonna notice just one last thing if your board isn't super smooth right here and it's bothering you just take a flat brush okay and let's put some yellow on one edge of it, one side. And you can follow the edge of your board. If you have a section like where his nose is, that's a little harder to cover. You'll wanna add some white to your brush and I'll show you here. So I just go right along the edge there with my white. There we go. And remember to be nice to yourself here because edges are super tricky. It's just that if you want anything smoothed out, you can do that. I just wanted to make sure you knew how and could apply it to your board if you wanted to. Okay, love it. Guys, I hope you'll tag us with your paintings so we get to see it too because Stitch is just one of our favorites and we wanna see all of yours. Okay, now the last thing we do is sign our work, right? Because we worked really hard. We're proud of our work and as artists, we sign it. So I'm gonna find a little spot here and put my signature. And I like to kind of go along with my image sometimes and, or hide it somewhere. But use your detail brush, put that signature on there somewhere. Give yourself a high five. Thank you for painting with me today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.